Direct Shabbat Shalom. So question, what do you do? Uh, what do you, what is your family tradition for Father's Day? Either growing up or what you do now? What do you like to do? Breakfast in bed. Breakfast in bed, nice. Having a picnic. Picnic. Exchange cards, okay, nice. Any other Father's Day traditions? Barbecues or in my house, we uh, often will make a nice breakfast, although not in bed. Um, sometimes we'll go to a park and uh, take a hike. Um, you know, about this uh, year, I think it's supposed to be very, very hot. But um, lots of different ways to uh, honor our, uh, our fathers. Um, and that's true, not just on Father's Day, but of course, all year round. And I think about it in particular now as we enter Shabbat, I invite you to turn with me to page 310 for a moment. Probably some of you are familiar with the tradition of uh, chanting Eshet Chayel, this poem uh, about a woman of valor around the Shabbos dinner table. Probably less well known is that there is a parallel poem that uh, is traditionally recited to men. Um, and it really is an exact, uh, almost an exact uh, parallels. You see on the bottom of uh, the page, page 310, it says it's appropriate as well for a wife to bless her husband and children, their father, using this tribute from the book of Psalms. So uh, Asia Tile is from the book of Proverbs. This is from the book of Psalms, but there's a lot of language that is identical. For example, it begins, that um, this person is uh, God-fearing. He reveres Adonai. And if you looked um, I don't know, about three lines up, uh, or two lines up in the Hebrew from the bottom of Eish Chayu, you'd see Isha Yirat Adonai, um, Hi Titalal. So the language is um, the same. There's another reference to um, a person who gives uh, tzedakah to those who in need, and it's almost the exact same uh, Hebrew. This is an alphabetical acrostic, um, just like Eish Chayu is an alphabetical acrostic, meaning that this idealized um, man or uh, father is someone who um, lives the values of Torah from A to Z, from Aleph uh, to Tav. So let's see what it says. It says, blessed is the man who reveres Adonai, who delights in God's commandments. His descendants will be honored in the land, a generation of the upright, they will be blessed. Prosperity fills his household, his righteousness is enduring. Even in the darkness, light shines for the upright for the one who is gracious, compassionate, and just. All goes well with a man who is generous, whose dealings are marked by integrity. Actually, let me reread that line. Um, in the Hebrew, it says, tov ish fonenu malve. It's translated here as all goes well with the man who is generous, but it could be read in the way that Ibn Ezra reads it, is a good person is one who is honen umalve, who is compassionate and who is giving. Um, and these are attributes, of course, that are also used to, uh, to describe God. And so one who embodies these holy attributes. His, he shall never be shaken. His kindness will always be remembered. Evil tidings do not frighten him. In other words, he's a person of faith, of confidence. His mind is firm, trusting in Adonai. His heart is steady. He will not be fearful. For his enemies are destined to be overcome. He has given freely to the poor. His goodness is an inspiration to others. His life is, in, is exalted in honor. So uh, this is a, it's a beautiful description of a man, of, uh, of a person of virtue. And it would be interesting to compare this to what we might uh, list as a person's virtues or to compare it to uh, Aisha Chayel. But I think about it as a tribute for, uh, for Father's Day uh, in a way, and maybe you even want to chant this uh, for your father. So what we do in my house is we sing Eshet Chayel on Friday nights. And when we're home and uh, having you know, Shabbat lunch at home, uh, there was rare occasions we sing it, we sing this uh, for Shabbat lunch. And we use the same tune. Hallelujah, We just kind of made that up, but it, the tune works. Um, anyways, uh, so maybe you want to chant this uh, for your father, if your father's still uh, alive. Um, but ultimately, I think that uh, the way this speaks about um, honoring uh, our fathers is to embody virtues and values that, uh, that they uh, embody. There's one phrase that I'll just draw your attention to 
that repeats itself exactly in this uh, in this song. If you look with me um, on the third line uh, from the beginning of the song, the last phrase, "Betzitato omedet baad." So his tzedek, his righteousness, it exists in perpetuity. And that exact same phrase is the second to last phrase of the song. Sitato omedet baad. It's not translated necessarily. His goodness is an inspiration to others. His life is exalted in honor. But in order for his, uh, our fathers, uh, our parents, um, righteousness to um, continue in perpetuity, uh, for uh, then we have to be, in the words of this psalm, the generation of the upright. We have to embody that tzedek. We have to pursue tzedek and embody uh, these qualities. In that way, we will uh, honor our fathers, our parents, not just uh, on this once a week special Sunday, but really throughout our lives. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom.